A conversation with the mid-range narcissist. I am going to provide you with an example of a conversation between a narcissist and intimate partner primary source. This would typically be a conversation undertaken by low mid-range, middle mid-range, A or B or upper mid-range. And I've amalgamated various aspects of all three to encompass the mid-range concept as a whole. So the mid-ranger doesn't know what he is has no awareness that he's a narcissist, thinks that he's a decent person, doesn't recognise that he's manipulative, and doesn't know that he seeks the prime aims of fuel control, character traits and residual benefits. We start with a complaint coming from the intimate partner primary source. I just want something to do. I'm tired of being stuck in here on my own whilst you are out doing what you do. I need something to do. This amounts to a threat to control. It's challenge fuel. The manner in which it is said, perhaps a bit whiny or hurt or pleading, provides the narcissist with fuel. But it is suggesting that the life of this intimate partner primary source is being wasted and they're bored by being with the narcissist. And therefore, in the unconscious mind of the narcissist, this will be a threat to the control. The narcissism then needs to crank up and does so with an assertion of control, causing the narcissist to say this. I am out providing for us both. Hero complex. I am out working hard to earn the money that keeps this place running. I keep a roof over our heads. I put food on the table. I pay the bills so you can watch this television and lie lazing in hot baths, insult, as I am waiting for something to eat after a hard day's graft. Martyrdom. Sense of entitlement. Exaggeration. That's not fair. I always have a meal ready for you. The victim is not backing down. They are correcting what the narcissist has said. Threat to control. Do you? What about four weeks ago? Assertion of control by bringing up the past. What? Challenge to control. Four weeks ago, I came in and nothing was in the oven. You had not put anything in the fridge for me to eat, and I found you in the bath listening to your iPad. If you want something to do, fulfil your part in this relationship. That would be a start. Dragging up the past, provocation, insult. The event actually happened, but of course, the narcissist, through his narcissism, and instinctively and unaware, has put a slant on it. Here is what actually happened. You came home early explains the victim. I hadn't expected you. Threat to control. The narcissism shifts tack and comes back now exhibiting sense of entitlement and criticism. Oh, so now I can't come home early. I didn't say that. You didn't have to. What's that supposed to mean? Jesus, I tell you I want something to do. I want something meaningful that has a sense of purpose and you turn it into an argument about having dinner ready. Challenge to the narcissist's control by accusing them of being argumentative. Oh, says the narcissist, I get it. Supporting my daily endeavours at work isn't meaningful, is it not? Grandiosity. Be the little woman and stay at home for me. Well, excuse me for getting up at 6am every day, enduring an hour-long commute, and working myself into an early grave just for you can call it, just so you can call it meaningless, martyrdom. I didn't mean that. Well, that is what you said. You always do this. The victim, of course, using always, not in the narcissistic way, but actually demonstrating how this argument always occurs. This is a threat to control. Therefore, the narcissism selects vagueness. Do what? Spin it around. Spin what around? You're talking in riddles, woman. Vagueness, feigned misunderstanding. You are doing it again. Challenge to control. Doing what again? Vagueness. Please stop repeating me. Challenge to control by telling the narcissist what to do. Assertion of control by the narcissist as follows. I have to, in order to make sense of what it is you are babbling about. Insult. Babbling, am I? Victim fights back. Sorry, I just wanted to explain that I was bored at home all day and I wanted something to do. Threat to control by suggesting that the life of the narcissist, even at home, is boring. How can you be bored? 
You can go where you want, see who you want, have coffee with your friends, go out for lunch, go to gym classes, take up a craft, but you don't. Criticism. Suggestion of a wonderful life. That's because I have so much to do here. So that's my fault, is it? Feigned misunderstanding. I am not saying that. You don't have to. Circular conversation. See, you're doing it again. Stop it. Threat to control. I have no idea what you're going on about, feigned misunderstanding. You keep demeaning my efforts, pity play, and when I try and find out why you are doing this, you just insult me all the more, pity play. When? When did I insult you? Asking question of narcissist threat to control. You said you were bored at home. I am, but that's not my fault. Narcissist making it all about him perceives it through his lens of control as a threat to his control even though in the perception of the victim it is not. The victim states, I didn't say you did. There's lots of things that you could do. God, I wish I had that amount of time to myself every day. Triangulation. Blimey, I would be a champion cyclist, writer and gardener, and that's just for starters. Grandiosity. But that's just it. I don't have the time. I have breakfast ready for you, I sort the children out for school and feed them, then I tidy up, then I do the laundry, I take the dog for a walk and then I make lunch, then I go to the store to pick up something for the evening meal, and also stuff for the children's lunches, after that I pick up the kids from school, help them with the homework as I prepare the evening meal, and then you come home. I don't have time for anything else, I'm just a machine, I feel like a machine, don't you understand? This challenges the narcissist's control by suggesting he doesn't understand, there's also a plea for compassion as well, which of course will fall on deaf ears. No, I don't, says the narcissist, asserting control by rejecting it. Stop being so selfish. Insult. Do you think I like working as hard as I do, only to find that you hate your side of the bargain? Martyrdom. How do you think that makes me feel? Bringing it back to self. Knowing that you resent looking after our home, the home which I pay for. Grandiosity. If it wasn't for me, we would be living in a trailer. Look, I am grateful for how hard you work, provision of fuel, submitting to control, but I just want to do something different. Threat to control again. No, you have a job to do. Deal with it. Dismissiveness. But it's killing me. I'm just a domestic machine. Challenge to control by complaint. So what? That's your job. Lack of compassion. I have mine and you have yours. Good God, you always have to complain, don't you? Insult. You want for nothing. Absolutely nothing. Do you know how many women would give their right arm to have someone like me? Grandiosity. Triangulation. Do you? Hundreds. Exaggeration. Thousands. Embellishment. Someone hard-working, loyal, and supportive. Inflated sense of self. They would kill. Melodrama. To have me, and you just take it for granted. I don't. Not agreeing with the narcissist. Threat to control. Oh yes, you do. You never praise me, or ask me how my day has been. Pity play. Yes, I do. I'm sure I do. Doubt of the frazzled mind of the victim. I might not do it every day because I'm busy with the children and so on. Always an excuse. Undermining. You aren't the woman I married. Triangulation with former self. Once you looked up at me, you smiled and showed me affection. Now you can't even turn your head from whatever dross you're watching on the television. I don't know why I bother. Insult. Don't be like that. Conciliatory response by the victim. I will be like that. Note, even though it was conciliatory, this victim is currently painted black, so the narcissist perceives the comment of don't be like that as a threat to control because it's perceived by the narcissist as the victim telling him how to behave. It's about time you learn some home truths. You don't give me the affection or the attention that you used to. Lie. Provocation. Got your eye on someone else, have we? Paranoia. Triangulation. Warming him in our bed, are you? No, no, I would never do that. Is that why you say you want something to do? You want someone else to do, don't you? Paranoia, triangulation, false accusation. I know your game, missy. I have you in my eye. Stop it. This is ridiculous. Threat to control. Oh, I am ridiculous, am I? Purposeful misunderstanding. Stop trying to dis deflect from the truth. Projection. I have caught you out. I have done nothing wrong. Rejection of threat. Rejection of assertion of control. Thus, continuance of threat of control. So you claim, but I know different. It makes sense now. All the times you don't look at me or give me attention, is it be it, it's because you have been giving it to someone else, you whore. 
Insult, triangulation. Who is he? I'll kill him. Stop it. Don't lose your temper. You're getting it all wrong. Threat to control. Don't tell me what to do or don't tell me what to do or don't do, you bitch. Come on, who is he? Assertion of control. Threat. Insult. There's nobody. You're getting it all out of proportion. Please stop it. I don't like it when you shout. Threat to control. I have to shout, otherwise you won't listen to me. Shouting. Assertion of control. Please stop it. Threat to control. Had enough, have we? Hit a nerve, have we? Well, if you want something to do, you can think about whether I will come back or not. Threat and loss. I'm going out to see someone who actually appreciates me. Triangulation. No, please, don't go. I didn't mean to upset you. It's far too late for that. You always do it. Exaggeration. You always make me angry. Blame shifting. Exaggeration. I wish you would stop it. It's not fair. No, I have to go out or something bad will happen. Threat. And it's all your fault. Blame shifting. No, please. I only said I wanted something to do. Well, I have to do something. Goodbye. Narcissist asserts control by withdrawal. End of interaction. So you will have gained from that. All through it, the victim was providing fuel to the narcissist. So that wasn't a problem. But each time she tried to defend herself or suggest that he was wrong, she would be threatening his control. So the narcissist had to keep asserting control again and again and again. Using a direct assertion of control, he would draw more fuel, but trying to, in effect, quell the rebellion by the use of the various manipulations that I described. And in the end, his narcissism told him, We've got plenty of fuel here, thank you very much, but you need to assert control. She's not lying down. Do so by the third assertion of control, withdrawal, and thus he walks away. And there is a very useful analysis and dissection that you would not get anywhere else other than from me with regard to understanding a conversation with a mid-range narcissist. I'm H.G. Tudor. Thank you for listening.